Welcome back to IT Security Labs. And today we're doing day eight of Advent of the Cyber. And thanks very much to John Hammond for do, doing this room. It's one of our first analysis rooms where we will not be attacking anything. Instead, we're doing an investigation. It looks like Santa's laptop is missing and Santa is the boss for our company here. And we had PowerShell logging uh, enabled there. And we were able to get remote logs every time PowerShell commands were ran on that laptop. So before the machine disappeared, we had th those logs, and that's what we'll be looking at here. We're going to try to see what happened before the laptop was stolen, and what did the attackers do? So first we start the attack machine. All right, so here's Santa's laptop logs. They look like PowerShell logs, and they were modified on 11, 28, 2021. So this, this is the order that they are with random names. Let's look at the first log file here. Our task says, what is the operating system? Sanders laptop, looking at that log file. It looks like someone ran who am I? And it was running as Santa. So someone had Santa's credentials to sign in here because they were running PowerShell commands and is Santa. They ran the command sysinfo. So the OS name is Windows 10 Pro. So we submit that. All right, so our next question says, review each transcription log to get an idea of what happened. So it looks like what was the password for the new backdoor account that was created? Let's go back to our log and see if someone ran the net user command, because that's how you can create an, a, an account using PowerShell. So, so I ran XRDP administrator, the password, the Grinch, and the, my machine IP address here, which is 10, 10, 233, 211. So let's hope this works better because it kept crashing on me. All right, so second question say, what is password for the new backdoor account? So we need to review the logs to find that password. So going back in here, let's make sure that we sort these logs by the date modified. Starting with the first one is 635. Next one is 636 PM. So let's look at the second log file here. What we're looking for is if someone created a user account, it will be the net user account. That's what people use in the PowerShell command line to create users, net user, to see users, and also to create user. So net user, they created an account called Santa with four in the name, and this is the password that they used. So we need to give them the password. Let's hope we can copy that from there. I don't think we can, but we'll see. Okay, we can. All right. So that was the second one. Then in one of the transcription logs, the bad actors interacts with target under the new backdoor user account and copied a unique file to the desktop. Before it was copied to the desktop, what was the full path of original of the original file? So let's go here. And just looking at these, looks like there was something to do with creating accounts. So we move on to the next log. We are looking for when this copy command was ran, and it's right here. So they copied this, and the copy command is in PowerShell, just copies just like in Linux, and the full path to the user class dot dot, and the dot here says copied here, just like what it means in Linux. So this is the full path of the copied file. And copy, and that will be here. I hope that makes sense. All right, the actor uses leaving off the land binary. Leaving off the land binaries are things that are already on the system. And it looks like this one takes us to setutil.exe. So we're looking at a place where they use a binary that is already on the system that is used for something good, like uh, setutil is used for certificate management. So then verify is succeeded by viewing output file. What is the name of this leave off the land binary? So let's look. Unfortunately, this took us to set util, so that must be the answer. Is there anything to do with set util in here? No. Oh, wait a second. I see a bunch of stuff here. This is a certificate here. So, yeah, they did use set util.exe. And what were they doing? They were encoding a file using set util.exe. All right. Okay, then we have a few things here that happened. Um, the user class.dat file was encoded with base64. 
which thankfully we can decode and recover the original user class. To so basics for decode the contents between begin certificate and end certificate markers within the transcription log with CyberChef, which we have a local copy on the desktop. This file can be used to aid investigation. So we need to decode the contents between that and that and save them as a file. Okay. So we do have a shortcut to CyberChef here. And the contents that we're talking about are here. So begin certificate. It must be a long, very long file. So since I want everything from the beginning of this all the way to the end, most of this file is going to be this gibberish here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy that file and delete what I don't need. Then I'll just paste it again. All right, now I have a copy of it. I'm just going to do this. Delete, <laughs> instead of copying this certificate, because it's too much work, I'm going to delete everything and leave only the certificate contents because that's the more efficient way to do this. All right. And inside from begin certificate all the way until near the end and delete this. And certificate. So now what I have is just the certificate contents command O. I'll copy that and paste it in CyberChef. I'll say from base 64 and command V. Then let's download this file. It's called download that dot. That's fine. Okay. And that's okay. I'll save it in my downloads folder. Inside the Shellback Explorer folder on the desktop of your Windows machine, the application name is shellback.exe. So inside of this Shellback file here, we have shellback.exe. All right, so our file is erroring out. It's saying it's not the correct format. So maybe we need to move these, the begin and end of certificate, just the content. That's what you need to decode, not including the begin and end certificate. So let's go back to CyberChef from base 64. That's how we're baking it. Let's do it again. And then paste everything in there. And let it bake. All right, after it bakes, we can download the file. I'm just going to leave the name as download.dat. At this point, I just want to move on and let's save the file. Then let's open Shellbreak Explorer file, load offline hive. It's in the downloads folder. I didn't rename it, so it's the download.dat. Open that. Right, that's good. Then we we'll say okay. All right, we did the task. That's all they're talking about here and here. Do down in the folders and see what you can find, anything that might indicate how we could better track down the center, this center rate. Uh, what specific folder clues named, names us? Okay, so we're looking for a folder name. Looking at the answer here, it starts with a dot. That's what I'm seeing right away. So I'm going back here. Uh, talking about center rate. Under it, main file that starts with dot is all right. So it says dot GitHub in here now. Okay, so we have a dot GitHub file. Additionally, there is a unique folder named named bag of toys on the desktop. This must be where Santa prepares his collection of toys, and this certainly sensitive data that the actor could have compromised. What is the name of the file found in this folder? That was called bag of toys. What is the name of the file? Okay, it's bag bag underscore of toys dot zip okay dot zip it's a zip file all right so this is looking straightforward so far 
track down standard rate software online, it may have some simple searching of a website they even told you. So how about we just do it this way? Go into GitHub. Let's search for Santa Red. This one looks like it. So now that we found it, what are we being asked to do? What is the name of the user that owns Santa Red repository? Um, the username is Greenchest. Just All right, so we found the ground. Explore other repositories that the, the user owns. What is the name of the repository that seems especially pertinent to our investigation? What repository? Other than Santa Red, what do you also have? It's called Operation Bag of Toys because we're talking about Bag of Toys here. So it's only fitting that this is something that's interesting to us. Okay. Read the information presented in this repository. It seems as if the actor has in fact compromised and tempered with Sanders' bag of toys. You can review the activity of the transcription log. It seems the actor installed a special utility to collect and eventually exfiltrate bag of toys. What is the name of the executable that installed unique utility the actor used to collect bag of toys? So let's go back to our machine then. All right, so going back to our logs here, let's see if there's anything that indicates that the compromise was successful. So opening the next log file in online should show us if there's anything that was installed. So here's another transcript. They opened PowerShell. They ran a binary, UHXE Explorer. So the actual binary that was executed was this here. This is what installed. This is how people install things in Windows. Just pointing to a binary, then it will ex execute. So that's the name. All right. In the last transcription log, you can see the activity of, that this actor used to tamper with Sanders' log of toys. It looks like they collected the original contents and the UHG archive is similar to a zip, but faster with better compression rates. It's rare that you see that, um, okay. You can see the extra compressed the original contents of the bag of toys with the password. Unfortunately, we are unable to see the specific password in the transcription logs. Perhaps we can find it somewhere. Following this, the actor looked, looks to have removed everything from the bag of toys and added in the new things like core worms more. What is the contents of these malicious files core? What is the contents? Okay. Okay, so they echoed the word Grinchmas in every single one of them. Looks like if you look here, they echoed the word Grinchmas, 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 Grinchmas. So I think that's the word that they're talking about. Kind of silly thing to do, but it was Grinchmas in every single one of those files. Okay. We know that the actor seemingly collected the original bag of toys. Maybe there was some offset mistake there and we might be able to recover Sanders' bag of toys. Review the extra's repository for planned operations. Maybe the commit messages, we could find original archive and the password, okay? What is the password of the original bag of toys dot your archive? So we just go here. Bag of toys. There's only five commits here. So... In this commit here, do we see a password? Password is right here. <laughs> then green chest of all. Okay. So we found the password. It's in the commit message somewhere there. Okay. Then to the last question, we need to understand what's happening here. Max Kid was able to download and save the bag of toys that who are archive and you may have accessible on, on the desktop of the Windows analysis machine. After uncovering the password from the repository, you have everything you need to restore the original bag of toys. Double click on the archive on the desktop to open the utility. Using the password you recovered, extract the contents in a location of your choosing. You, make, you might make a bag of toys directory on the desktop to save all the files. Okay, let's do that. Exit U. 
Now we need to create a new folder called bag, bag of toys. So here's an extract a, a zipped bag, bag of toys. Password, we recovered it here in the Git repository. So we paste that password here. Hopefully it works. Extract files. Then it's going to ask us where we want to extract the files. We say on the desktop. In Santa, on the bag of toys file. Okay. All right. It's extracting. Right, so it's finished extracting. Let's exit the program. We don't need it. Go to the bag of toys. What is the question? How many original files were present in Sanders' bag of toys? Okay, so we just need, really? Account? It is in there a way in Windows to tell how many objects are in here? Okay, so here's bag of toys. Let me do a properties on this thing here. I'm hoping it would tell me how many items are in there. Yes, contains 228 files. So we go here, submit. All right, did we complete the whole challenge? This was kind of involved, but really fun. It looks like we did. So that was the challenge, everyone. Please read everything. Obviously, I was not reading everything as I should, but I just wanted to make sure that we completed the task and we understand what we're doing. Some analysis, really fun stuff. So. Thanks for being here. Remember to like, subscribe, and we are still committed to finishing this in 25 days. So thank you for being here, and I'll see you next time.